And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poro Legacy. What we're going to be doing here, we're playing Poros, where we're going to be trying to have a bunch of daring Poros with the help of Poro Cannon and of course regular daring Poro and Poro Herder help draw them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make them even bigger with Iceborne Legacy. So that's what we're going to have. We got two Iceborne Legacies in here. Make those things three threes. That's the goal. That's our deck. Besides that, our champions, we got Braum. You know, obviously we're playing Braum with Poros and Poro snacks and everything. And then Jinx, because we are going to be able to empty our hand fairly quickly with a pretty low curve. And so we're going to be uh, trying that out. Um, let's see. We got the brand new patched Poro bot. First time playing the brand new Poro. Uh, so we'll see what this one does. So random keyword every single, uh, every single round. And so we're going to be looking for elusive. That's going to be a keyword that will be desirable. Uh, playing Sump Dredger to go along with um, some discard stuff with Jury Rig, Flame Chompers. Because, uh, you know, like we got some discard stuff with the Poro Cannon. Not sure if Zonite Urchin or the Sump Dredger will be better. We're going to try out Sump Dredger because we don't have any other three mana unit. So it kind of fits the curve. We got some other cheap one mana things as far as Zonite Urchin is concerned. So we're going to try just getting a little bit bigger body here with the Dredger. All right, so let's get to it. So we're going to go play five games over in ranked. I'm just used to saying that. <laughs> no, we're playing over in normal. It's meme tier Monday. Uh, we're, we're playing some meme tier decks. So we're just playing normal um, with our daring Poros. And this looks like a matchup where they're going to be very important because they're going to be able to be... Uh, they, like, they have some really good blockers that we don't want to, to do any damage to. And so we're going to really need the elusives in this game. So Mulligan to our opening hand. None of those were our daring Poros. Or just um, things that look too great. So we have a couple Poro snacks. And a patch Poro. So now it's, it's Lifesteal. Don't need Lifesteal. Hoping we get elusive. Thanks, Dark Dragoon. Good morning. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. Hmm. That's bad. I don't like that. Challenger. Ooh, they passed. Scout. <laughs> um, so I can go Poro Snacks or we can go Sump Dredger, discard the Jury Rig. I think we do that, the Sump Dredger, discard the Jury Rig, because that basically incentivize them to challenge the Sump Dredger. Or I guess maybe I should have just done this first before attacking. Alright, do we get Elusive? Tough. That's tough. That's tough. They just passing turn. Uh, yeah, it's probably good to save that. Now I only want to do one damage to the box to puss. Right, I guess we're doing two damage to it. All right, come on, elusive. Fearsome. I guess I may just have to discard this. Patched Poro bot. I guess so. Because we just want all these daring Poros. Sorry, Patched Poro bot. Because I don't want to discard another Poro cannon that can get us even more daring Poros. Because we're going to be. Uh, we'll be playing the Poro snacks this turn. So 
So that's 12 elusive. Ah. This is outrage. Make that 9 elusive. <laughs> We're just getting all the Poro cannons. Pablo's been turned, but his knee out. Ah, I told your ancestors to protect. Their deck doesn't play very much removal, but they've kind of had they've had a lot of it. Take heart. Live with purpose. I don't think there's really any re like I don't think I discard a Poro cannon. Oh come on. Good to see you too. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. It's elusive. I guess I have to have Poro Cannon discard Poro Cannon, I guess. So they're at 13. That's 13. GG's. Let's go. Horo Legacy. Lucky Dragons. All right, a Braum mirror match. They're going Braum with Trundle and Ionia. Got a Poro Snacks. Or, why did I say Poro Snacks? Poro Cannon. We got something to discard to Poro Cannon. We'll get rid of the Get Excited. Okay, we can suit up a Daring Poro. Keep the Jinx. We're gonna have a bunch of little Daring Poros. Really hope they're not an Avalanche deck. We're going wide. So it would be a good matchup to find Poro Snacks. What would you have? Uh. How about another round? All right, hopefully they're done. I don't know why they're barking so much, but they were. So I want to play Jinx this turn. That's what I was thinking of doing. <laughs> don't really want to cast Flame Chompers. Uh, the the poor robot was on regeneration. Break now it's on Challenger. The weak. Challenger's kind of interesting. We could go Challenger. That's interesting. Good luck. Have fun. There's probably no like incentive to play that right then. <clears throat> As opposed to just waiting. Do you think I could challenge the Scar Maiden Reaver and do three damage to the Scar Maiden Reaver and kill it? Maybe not. Okay, I guess I, I could have. Yeah, 
I guess I would have been able to. Immerse yourself in the. <laughs> but if I if I just challenge the Scar Maiden Reaver right away, they probably would not have. Um. You know, like they they probably wouldn't have just played the Catalyst right then. That's my guess. All right, so I'm glad we found another Poro Snacks. Good, Poro Her is a good one. And Poro Cannon. Discarding this Flame Chompers. Okay. So we need to unload our hand this turn. Don't have... I guess three, five, six, seven. I guess we do have the mana to unload our hand this turn. No, I guess we don't. Never mind, because we draw a card here. What are you getting? Fury? We'll try our, our Poro Snacks, hopefully draw another Poro Snacks, or something like that. What do you have? Oh, you have Elusive now? So the problem with playing Patched Poro Bot is if they have another Trundle in hand, they would have... Um, Ice Quake. So I think with that, we just go right to attacks. And there we go! Daring Poro! Picking up another win for us. Playing some dragons. Alright, so we don't want to see too much challengers. And definitely need to go find our... Um, our daring poros. So Jinx probably doesn't match up that well against the dragons. Neither does Braum. Probably like their dragons are probably just bigger. Um, Troll Chant can help save a daring poro. But I think we need to find like daring poro and poro snacks. So I'm just going to take a good mulligan. Oh no, we got the elusive right now, but we can't play it right now. Oh, now it's fearsome. That's weird. So it was like elusive turn zero, and it's fearsome. All right, now it's back to being elusive. Shape the skies and mold the earth. I hate seeing the herald of dragons. That just speeds them up an entire turn, and that's not good. So playing Poro Snacks here attacks for more than just playing Daring Poro. Yeah, see, I mean, they get to just go ahead an entire faster turn. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Cool, more Daring Poros. We'll take that. And having two Jinx is nice, because then the, the one Jinx will turn the other one into a Get Excited. No more Poro Snacks, unfortunately. So I'm going to play Jinx this turn. And then have these both be Get Excited. They take the 9, go down to 6. I guess they're trying to think if they want to use Concerted Strike or not. Don't use Concerted Strike, no! Strafing Strike. A dragon's... Witness my That's not as good. So they're still at eight. Jinx. 
It's like the Poro Herders can draw us more Poros, which we could discard the Poros. What have Poros done to you? Yeah, they could they get strafing strife jinx, but then I mean I have all these elusives. I feel yeah, see I feel like they have to take down the elusives. That's what I would expect. I wouldn't expect them to try to kill Jinx. Little ones. Follow along, little ones. Elusive? No. <laughs> yes, Pope, I know you're from Belarus. Like Thomas that. No! Oh, I do not like that. Star shaping with that Nexus healing. It's gonna make my job more difficult. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. What have I told you? Stay out of there. Spell shield. All right, let's just try this. Try to put them down to six. Cool. And they play Infinite Mind Splitter. Infinite Mind Splitter. Of course, my, my plan is just to double get excited them. Rouse your kind, dragon. Everyone goes boom. Hopefully no guiding touch or anything like that. <laughs> Not a bot with that resub. Nine awesome months. Thank you so much there, Not a bot. Our second sub of the day. GG's, another perfect lethal for the Poros. We're three and zero. That's just what we. That's what we normally do with our meme tier decks. Play them in normal, but if they go four zero, then we play our fifth game in rank to give them more of a test because then they're doing too good in normal. So we'll see if we're able to do that. We're going to mulligan them all again. And basically look for our Daring Poros and Poro Snacks. Puppy Snacks. We get our Puppy Snacks. Alright, what do we got over here? Fearsome? Um, Alright, so my, my plan, of course, my plan is Poro Cannon, Iceborne Legacy. I want to play Poro... I'm going to do this right now. We're either going to discard the Patch Poro Bot or the Augmented Experimenter. And I'm just going to discard the Augmented Experimenter. Yeah, Sejuani Swain does sound pretty scary, doesn't it? Spell shield. <laughs> now, where did that one run off to? Got something for him. So we got two chances You've gone and spoke them. at drawing or at these being elusive a turn. Come on, elusive. Overwhelm and fearsome. We could go Iceborne Legacy Patch Portal Bot, I guess. I still see far and clear. Let's go play the Fearsome right now. It's basically elusive. Basically elusive. Tough. Ooh, I like that Poro Snacks. House bottom. I like that Poro Snacks. In Avarosa's name. Like they're probably just gonna have something. Like if I if I play if I try playing Iceborne Legacy on these, like they'll just have like some kind of removal spell. I would think. So we got another Poro Snacks, let's just do that. An attack. Dang, our Poros are sweet. Yes, more Poro Snacks. And there we go, now it's elusive. Of 
Because this Poro's already dead anyway. So you know if they use, like, Culling Strike in response. Which I guess I could have done it to this one and I would have protected against Culling Strike. With the Poro's Max. So that one's dead anyway. I'm gonna have Flame Chompers challenge the Sejuani and allow my fearsome Poro bot through. But that means I have to cast something, and so by that time they probably play another blocker. Alright, GG's. Can't handle the elusives. So many snacks. Togrek! Hey, yeah, happy you're back. Thank you so much for the resub. You are awesome, Togrek. Thank you so much. Yep, all's going well. Trundle, Aurelian Soul. I could keep Jinx in this. Like, this is a matchup where we could keep Jinx, but I'll no, just look for our Poros. Do our thing. Yeah, this is going to be, this is definitely our toughest test yet, whether this is normal or rank, because they have a lot of Nexus healing with Targon, and they have a lot of sweepers with Avalanche and Ice Quake and those kind of cards with Freljord. So that's a, a difficult combination for us. So we're the underdogs, <laughs> for sure. We have Spell Shield. Footprints here. Hear some. Thought me smell something. Now we go. I think I just blocked that thing. Yeah, I might as well block that. Alright, just playing the suit up while while we just drew it while it costs two mana. Fury. Attack for six. And we got our two mana with our troll chant to help protect. Welcome to the tipsy hour. That's a good draw. I basically just didn't want to waste all that. that I didn't want to waste that spell mana. I guess they'd be wasting a bunch of mana too. Oh man. That's super scary. Challenger. I'm down to four. Our deck's so cheesy. <laughs> Our deck is so cheesy. Four five challenger. Alright, so if I if I do not play patch for Obont. They have 15 damage that they can attack with right now. That's not enough to kill me. That's a good blocker. Still fearsome? Why can't you get elusive? We need you to be elusive.
Yeah, Togrek, I'm gonna try. I hate this Nexus healing. We need this to be elusive, or we need to draw... Um... The... No. Yeah, that's just gonna kill it. We need to draw, like, the zero mana thing that makes two daring Poros. Poro Cannon. Yeah, let's draw Poro Cannon and make this elusive. Not a troll chant. Lifesteal. Oh, we gotta play it. Not what I want to do. It's too bad. We came close. We came close. But... GG's. Sad Poros. But that's why that's a really tough matchup. Their hand was pretty awesome also of just starting off with turn two. You know, like they had turn two, they had a 4-3. Turn three, they played a 4-3. Turn four, they healed their, you know, a 3-3 that also healed their Nexus for, for three, um, which, you know, was clutch. Turn four, the double ramp, and then turn five, infinite mind splitter. This could have been turn five infinite mind splitter. Turn five, they must have done some more Nexus healing and removal and stuff. But there we go, Poro Legacy. So you can see what that's all about. But if notice with those games, Daring Poro is really, really strong, honestly. Like Poro Cannon, Daring Poro, that's really strong. We never had we never really got the Iceborne Legacy in, but just playing those with Poro Snacks, um, honestly, really strong. And so that's what that's just what we're doing. Just play those, play Poro Snacks. The Poro bot being another thing that, you know, another elusive Poro for you. So now you can have a bunch of elusive Poros. Honestly, pretty strong. And Poro Herder going and drawing them. Um, I could see... I could see... Uh, what's his name? The Professor. I could definitely see Professor Von Yip being a good card for this one. Um, I could definitely see that. Uh, just again, just going with these elusive poros because, yeah, that's yeah, that's strong showing, strong showing for these elusive poros. Daring poro can do a ton of damage. Um, pump that thing up. I could also see, so yeah, I could see going this of just being like a, a buffed daring poro deck, like maybe you go like Professor Von Yip. Um, I'm not sure, like uh, Omen Hawk, because Omen Hawk would go with Professor Von Yip also. So you could go like Omen Hawk, you could go Avaros and Hearthguard in here because like i don't even know if these these champions are like even necessary i don't know jinx is jinx is cool because of the get excited it's like maybe just go like more get excited more jinxes because these can turn into get excited and you know you just try to get the nexus damage with those but brom doesn't seem like brom's probably not necessary um so you could have like avros and hearth guard that could pump up the poros in your deck because you know you do have the poro herder that can draw them so that's that's some more things that you could you could do um but yeah we didn't even play a single brom in any of those games. Like, Bromp is probably not necessary. Flame Chomper is not necessary. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments about our Poro Legacy deck, any of the others. Um, you got any meme tier Monday ideas that you want to see next week? Anything like that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.